Hi there. My name is Natasha Jonathan. I'm a crochet tutor at My Creative Butterfly where we transform strings to pretty things. I teach crochet through my courses, classes and patterns not just as a hobby but also as a tool that will help you focus and concentrate better in everything that you do. Welcome to my YouTube channel. From today, I'm starting with a series of 26 videos that is known as Beyond Basics A to Z Crochet Stitches. As the name suggests, I'll be doing 26 different videos in this series, which will contain intermediate to advanced level crochet stitches, starting from the letter A going till the letter Z. So do subscribe to the channel and hit that notification symbol so that you never miss out a new video that comes out. And once I'm done with all these 26 videos, you'll find all of them under a single playlist that will be known as Beyond Basics. So let's start with the tutorial. So welcome to day 20 of Beyond Basics Crochet Stitches, A to Z Crochet Stitches and today we are on the letter T and we are going to do the Trinity Stitch. As you can see it is a pretty guff pattern that is very suitable for making dishcloths or things that do not require much elasticity. You can use this pattern for many different projects as per your imagination. Um, this tutorial is suitable for intermediate to advanced level crocheters. If you are an advanced beginner, I would recommend that you can give it a try. But you'll need a little practice and you ha you'll have to be patient with it. So let's see how to make this pretty trinity stitch. And for this tutorial, I'm just using a, a simple acrylic yarn and a suitable hook size. For this stitch pattern, you need a chain in the multiples of two. So start with a slip knot, place it on the hook like this. Now for this one, this demonstration, I'm doing a 14 chains. This is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So this stitch pattern is pretty simple to remember because it is a repetition of just one row. So to begin, just do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook, like this. Now we'll start doing the trinity stitch, that is we'll start doing the little stars. So for that, insert the hook in the same place where you just did your single crochet, pull up a loop, go in the next chain, again pull up a loop. Now go in the next chain and pull one more loop. Now we have a total of 4 loops on the hook. Do a yarn over and pull through all four loops. Now we have to do a chain one to finish the row. Now do this chain little loosely because you are going to be working in this chain in the next round. So do it loose so that it is easier for you to insert the hook. So here the first trinity stitch is complete. Now to do the second one, go in the same chain as we pulled up the last loop. Go in that chain, pull up a loop, go in the next chain again pull up a loop repeat this one more time go in the next chain and pull up one more loop now you again have four loops on the hook do a yarn over pull through all four loops then do a chain one a little loose so that you can work in it in the next row so this is the second trinity stitch keep repeating this all the way across so we'll start with the same chain where we did our last uh, loop pull up a loop go in the next one pull up one more loop and go in the next chain and again pull up a loop. Now we have four loops on the hook, do a yarn over, pull through all four and a chain one loosely. Now let me do that quickly till the end of the row so that I can show you how to do the next rows. So like this and a chain one again, one, two, three loops and a chain one. Now I am on the last part. Now go in this chain, pull up a loop in the next one, again pull up a loop and pull one more loop in the last chain here. Now do a yarn over and pull through all four. Now for the last trinity stage, we are not going to do a chain one. We'll go in the same chain where we pulled the last loop and do a single crochet stitch. This will finish your first row. So this is our first row of trinity stitches. 
you'll just keep on repeating this row all the way uh, again and again to create the entire pattern i'll show you one more row so that you'll know how to work the trinity stitches over the trinity stitches again so do a chain one turn your work will not count this chain one as a stitch do a single crochet in the first stitch here now we'll start with the trinity stitches again so go in the first stitch here the same stitch where you just did the single crochet go in that pull up a loop go in the next stitch pull the second loop go in the next stitch and pull the third loop now you have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all four now do a chain one loosely as we did for the first round this is your first trinity stitch complete keep repeating this all the way across so again go in the stitch where we pulled the last loop pull up a loop go in the next stitch pull the second loop go in the next one and pull the third loop again we have four loops on the hook do a yarn over pull through all four do a chain one loosely again go in the stitch where we did the last loop go in the next one pull up a loop go in the next one pull another loop again we have four loops on the hook yarn over pull through all four and do a chain one loosely repeat this till the end one two three yarn over pull through all a chain one one two three pull through all and a chain one one two and the last one will be in this turning chain here remember to pick that one as well so four loops on the hook pull through all four now we are not going to do a chain one as this is the last trinity stitch so we are just going to do a single crochet in the last in the same stitch here where we pulled the last loop so this is how you will do the trinity stitch just keep repeating this row two over and over again till you reach the length that is required for the pattern that you are doing so it is a nice and guff stitch do give it a try it might require a little practice because it is slightly different from the basic crochet stitches that we usually do but do give it a try it is pretty simple once you get a hang of it um, you can use it for various different projects do let me know what you tried and what you made with that in the comments if you like what you learned today don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel hit that notification button so that you do not miss out on any videos that i put in the future also all the other alphabet stitches from a till the letter s are under the same playlist that is beyond basics and the link is here on the top right corner of your screen do click on that to check out the previous videos and the next videos till letter z will also be added to the same playlist so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial thank you so much for watching happy crocheting bye bye